so we're now on to day two of our trip. So we've left um, Galena Bridge. Incoming traffic on your right. Um, so we packed up and left about eight o'clock. Uh, it was a beautiful, um, beautiful night. It wasn't too cold whatsoever. Um, a big mistake that I made was that I, I shut my swag up um, and I just left the window open a little bit um, and so I actually got condensation inside the swag. Not a drama, um, I just, um, in the in the morning I just opened it up and aired it out a little bit and wiped it down with a bit of a towel before I packed it away. But tonight, um, what I'll do is I'll actually leave one of the sides open because it wasn't cold enough to be cocooned. So, um, yeah, that was a, a bit of a tip. Another car coming on your right, Vicky. Um, so yeah, now we're off to Billabong Roadhouse to go and fuel up and um, do the toilet run. Then we're going to chuck a, a right um, into towards the Gascoigne Junction. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So, um, we've been driving for about an hour, so I think we've got about another 45 minutes to get to the Billabong. So, um, yeah, it's a beautiful drive. There's not a lot of traffic, not compared to yesterday anyway. That was a bit ridiculous. Um, there was caravans and four-wheel drives everywhere. So, so when we, um, when we camped at uh, Galena, Bridge. We actually, as you're heading north, we pulled into the left hand side and went and camped in there. We were the only people in our spot. We heard a couple of people in the in the in the background, maybe a couple of dogs, but they weren't anywhere near us, we could just hear them. Uh, but then when we pulled out this morning and went over the bridge, if you look to your right, there must have been about 40 caravans all set up, all camping out. Uh, it was like, whoa, check that out. So the reason for that is apparently they've got toilets on the right hand side. So if you're happy to be camping off the grid um, and don't mind doing the whole bush loo, camp on the left hand side. Um, it was it was so peaceful. Got woken up by the cockatoos flying over um, in the middle of the night. Um, the sunrise was amazing. Really, really hot red. So. Um, I've got some pics of that. Um, so yeah, uh, we've got the whole day ahead of us. So really looking forward to seeing um, seeing the rest of WA. So this is still part of day two. Um, we have um, we were heading up to Carnarvon along the um, the coastal road, but um, our tour guide Michael remembers going down a um, a dirt track that um, actually shaved off um, just under an hour of our trip to the Gascoigne. So um, it was called the Pimby Track, P I M B W E, and we've just raced along there and then just decided to pull in here for some lunch before we hit um, Gascoigne, uh, Gascoigne Junction. Um, so the ground here is um, very clay-like. Um, they have had some rain um, over here the last um, couple of weeks, so the ground is still a little bit damp, uh, but the track was not muddy. Uh, we dropped our tires down to 30 pounds and seriously it was um it was a breeze getting in here um it was smooth as so yeah so this is along the pimby track a uh, rather nice spot you could um you could camp here um, there's no one around no toilet no power no water of course so um you would have to live off the grid but as long as you're equipped for it why not so now it's lunch time, then we'll be heading to Gascoigne Junction and fueling up and then we're going to go and check out the, um, the entrance into the Kennedy Ranges and see if that's been opened up yet. 
and this is what the back of my car looks like after going down the Pimby track. Um, so the red dust has no mercy. But luckily these tubs that I bought um, from Bunnings, um, when I open it up, um, guaranteed there won't be any dust in there. So this is still day two and um, we've ended up at this place. I don't even think it's got a name. We turned up at um, the Kennedy Loop um, entry point uh, just off the Gascoigne River and the loop was closed. So we've rocked up here. We've managed to get down to the river. We're actually camping on the river bank. This is literally part of the river and um, it is just a great spot. So we have lots of water here and the water is actually not cold. As you can see, Vicky down there is already paddling. We've got a flock of um, white galahs come over the top and just made an absolute raucous. Uh, the river's flowing nice. Oh, oh, okay, so apparently the water is cold. She's in the water already. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, check this out. So, um, yeah, it's not very deep. I don't think she'll get a stroke out of that. <laughs> Still day two down at the Gascoigne River. We've just got out of the river um, that we've been for a bit of a swim and a clean up and a bath, so to speak. So I'm actually cooking dinner now. So I pre-prepared my mince and my onions. Um, so all I have to do is cook them up, put a bit of spices with them, actually making nachos. Um, so I've got some of the Tex Mix spice mix um, and your salsa and your sour cream and your red kidney beans and seriously I've got my little my little gas oven and I'm cooking up a storm whilst having a wee bit of a beverage because it's been a, a long day driving on a lot of um, dirty roads and I'm actually ready to put my feet up so um, still day two, many more to come.